Hi everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the uh, YouTube lecture of HDL programming using Verilog course. Last sessions we studied about structured procedures, procedural assignments, namely blocking and non-blocking. Today we'll be focusing on timing controls. So in timing control, we have three methods of uh, doing it. One is delay based timing control, event based timing control and level sensitive timing control. These timing controls provides a various uh, ways to specify the simulation time at which procedural statements will execute. So the methods of defining timing control slightly differs from one and the other and its method of working all these things will be discussed in this session. First we will take up delay based timing control. So delay based timing control is an expression specifies the time duration between when the statement is encountered and when it is executed. Delays are specified by the symbol hash. Delay based timing control can be specified by a number, identifier or uh, min typical maximum expressions that we had discussed in gate level modeling. Syntax for the delay based timing control is as shown. Hash, you can write a number or hash, you can have an identifier or hash, you can have min typical and maximum expressions here. So any one of this uh, usages you can follow. Again in delay based timing control, there are three types of delay controls for procedural assignments. They are regular delay control, intra assignment delay control and zero delay control. We'll go through it in detail individually. Delay based timing control. In that the first one that we are studying is regular delay control. In short to say about it is delay control to the left of the assignment. Whenever you write a delay specification, which is starting with hash, if you write it to the left of the assignment, left of the assignment, then we call it as regular delay control. So here I have taken an example directly to just understand it in a better way. I have declared a parameter latency equal to 20 and one more parameter delta equal to 2. The meaning is whenever the code encounters latency or delay, del delta, so latency will be replaced with 20 and delta will be replaced with 2. So I am declaring a register variables x, y, z, p and q. There is an initial block. x is initial at zero time, no delay, no delay. x is uh, specified as zero. After 10 time units, y is equal to 1. After latency means 20. You read it as 20. After 20 time minutes, that is equal to 0. And after 20 plus delta is equal to 2. 20 plus 2, 22. After 22, p is equal to 1. You should read it like this. After 10, y is equal to 1. 10 plus latency, 10 plus 20. After 30, z equal to 0. 30 plus 22, 52. After 52, p is equal to 1. And here I am having an identifier. y is an identifier. y's value is 1. Already we have elapsed 52 time units plus y plus y is 1. After 53 time units, x will be incremented. And 53 plus, which one of these things should be considered? 4, 5 or 6. It is minimum, it is typical and it is maximum. The simulator of Xilinx chooses the typical value by default. So 53 plus 5 will give you um, 58 at 58. Uh, Q will be assigned with zeros. So these uh, I'm ending the initial block. This is a regular delay control uh, before proceeding. We'll just uh, take this into the Xilinx platform and we'll see whether it works out according to the understanding that we had just now. I have a regular delay model uh, written here. I'll just copy paste it. Yeah, I'm having the same code here. I'm having the same code. So parameter latency, delta, everything it is same. I'll just simulate it. 
So once you simulate, you can just check that your Verilog simulator of Xilinx will choose the typical delay. Fine. So zoom to fit. I just maximize it so that to have a clear picture. So I'll take this also. Yeah, and just check. So initially x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 at 0 nanoseconds. And then after 10 time units, y is equal to 1. After 10 time units, y is equal to 1. And after latency, 10 plus latency, 10 plus latency is 10 plus 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. At 30 time units, you can see that z is equal to z is equal to 0. Z is changing it as uh, 0. And then uh, up till up till 30, we have done. We have done. We are done with 30. And after latency plus delta 22, 30 plus 22, 30 plus 22 will come to 52. So at 52, at 52, I'll just place it here. At 52, uh, P is updating it as one. Uh, let me check. P is P is updating uh, to one. And hash Y, hash Y is Y is Y, y is value is one. Y is value is one. 52 plus one. 53 at 53 you can check that x is incrementing and the last statement that we had is a typical value that is 5 53 plus 5 53 plus 5 will be 58 at 58 q is changing its value to 0 so this is your regular delay control and it worked according to our analysis so now we'll go to the next one that is intra assignment delay control so intra assignment delay control is nothing but delay control is written right of the assignment that is initial begin x is equal to zero z is equal to zero there is no delay specified y is equal to hash phi here it is mentioned right to the assignment this is the assignment operator right to it this intra assignment delay is specified slightly different from regular delay whereas regular delay we start it at the first space of the line new line so in this case how we should understand it in terms of regular delay here equivalent method with temporary variables and regular delay has been mentioned initial begin x is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 as it is here the right hand side expression will be evaluated first and then it will be stored in the temporary variable the same thing same process has been done here temporary underscore xz has been assigned with x plus z and in the next step the uh, assignment of temp underscore xz is done to y only after five time minutes so this is slightly different this is what is a different um, thing that is happening in intra assignment delay compared to regular delays so read the statement intra assignment delays are like using regular delays with a temporary variable to store the current value of a right hand side expression now i'll just take it to the simulation again so i try to explain it with the uh, a part of intra assignment delay which is uh, not available in the reference book the reference book that we are having is Samir Palnitikar just to explain it to demonstrate it I have written it so I am just extending this uh, old regular delay program with one more two more initial blocks uh, initial i is equal to hash 10 y plus 1 initial hash 10 j is equal to y plus n my intention here is so clear so register i comma j have declared at 10 time units y has the value 1 after 10 time minutes y has the value 1 before 10 y is not initialized let me initialize it y is equal to 0 let me assume that y value is 0 okay at 10 time minutes y has been assigned with 1 so here what I'm doing is I am assigning I'm incrementing y value and I am assigning it to i only after 10 time minutes here what I'm doing I'm I'm having one more parallel block wherein after 10 time minutes I'm assigning y plus 1 is equal to j now let our intention here is whether this i and j value will be same or different that is what we need to check if this is regular delay and this is intra assignment delay so 
as per our understanding our study here y plus 1 would have been computed already and it has been stored in the temporary register and the uh, uh, y is value right now before 10 time minutes y values right now is 0 so 0 plus 1 i would be having a value of i would be having value of uh, 1 uh, according to this analysis and j so y has a or let us let us let us do one thing will not define any value let us let us keep it as undefined so it will be very clear for you so uh, y is undefined right now undefined plus one is undefined i should retain as undefined because y would have computed its value earlier where y value is undefined here at 10 time minutes y has received one and the same time at 10 time minutes i am executing it so while assigning it while executing it y would have already received value so y value will be updated and j will be having some uh, valid logic and that is what we are testing now save it simulate simulate let us check the simulation how it works these are very minute details we need to put little more efforts to understand such minute things so you can check i is never having a valid logic whereas j j is having a valid logic you can just check at 10 time minutes j is getting some value j is a single bit one when you increment it uh, y uh, is receiving one one plus one again it will come to zero whereas i is staying at undefined state forever the reason behind it is regular delay is different than intra assignment delay intra assignment delay is like this will be evaluated prior to this at zero simulation time itself it will be evaluated and the value is undefined and it will be assigned only after time and time minutes so undefined value will be assigned here it is not happening so here this whole statement will execute only after 10 time minutes but by then y would have updated its value to 1 so 1 plus 1 2 uh, not 2 it is a single bit 1 1 plus 1 will be 0 itself 1 0 actually 1 is a carry overflow 0 will be stored in j that is what we observed so this is about intra assignment delay now we'll go for the next one next is zero delay control very simple one zero delay con control is executed last to eliminate race conditions the order of execution of these statement is different always initial block is non-deterministic in in always uh, and uh, uh, initial block is undeterministic so when there is no delay specified as shown in this example x is equal to zero y is equal to zero here x is equal to one y is equal to one in both the case what value should be assigned to x because both are starting at zero simulation time so this is called a race condition in this scenario wherever you mention hash zero this will be given priority so x will be carrying one and y will be assigned with one so if there are multiple zero delay statements the order between them is again non-deterministic if you again write hash zero hash zero here it is again non-deterministic it depends on simulator that we are using the same thing we will check it in the xilinx simulator i have just uh, written it already i'll take it out because its work is done so here what i'm doing is x value is zero here here is here x value i'm forcing it as one but i'm writing it as hash zero so which one give should be given priority whether x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 because both are starting at 0 simulation time there will be a race condition to avoid race condition i have mentioned hash 0 that is zero delay control here so when you mention this zero delay control this should be provided with highest preference so x will be assigned with 1 let us check whether it is happening like that or not save it simulate behavioral model so once if x receives one or zero that we will check you can check here x value is one x value is one 
and later on it is changing according to the code written but initially x value is 1 so this state that this states that x value 1 is being given highest priority so hence zero delay control will be, will be having highest priority whenever you encounter a race condition so uh, next session we'll be studying about event based timing control and now it's time to summarize let us summarize uh, the things about what we studied today so today we learned about uh, three delays three delays delay based delay based timing control so what are the differences the first one being regular delay the second one being intra assignment delay third one being zero delay three delays so what are the difference that you observed regular delay your delay is specified where left to the whole of the assignment and here your delay is specified right to the assignment operator equal to r less than or equal to and zero delays you will be specifying specifying hash zero to avoid to avoid race condition these are the differences regular delay and intra assignment delay is uh, the differences we have understood by referring to the simulation so whole of the statement will be executed after the delay mentioned whole of the statement here right hand side will evaluate first assignment assignment is done after mentioned mentioned time units so these are the difference thank you